You guys ready for this fire? What is going on guys? Today we got a brand new video with the off-road Mazda 3. Today we're going to be continuing with the interior mods and as you guys saw in that intro, we're going to be painting the one and only. Wow. So obviously we've been banging out the interior stuff. We painted these black. We did the black headliner. Last video we did the cabin air filter. Highly suggest watching that. And we also did this and this, if you guys wanna see the whole interior collection, I'll have them up there for you guys to take a look at. But today we're gonna to be focusing on doing this. And I believe these are gonna be our last DIY painting project for the interior of this car. There's a couple other things in the interior of this car that I wanna change that might take a while to kind of show up, as in the seats. I would like to get a different set of OEM seats. Although further down the road here, and it shouldn't be too long, we're gonna do a best shift boot of 2022 because I did 2021 last year. So we're gonna do that with this car this year. And I got a shift boot coming in and I already have the shift knob. You guys might already know what the shift knob is. Uh, I did kind of want to paint this black and I wanted to do this glossy black, like both of these glossy black, but this is a pain in the ass to pull out of the car and it's not worth my time at the moment. So this might be something I do in the future. Other than that, I think it kind of all blends together nicely anyway, especially when you look at the steering wheel airbag compared to this. What do you guys want me to do next? Do you guys wanna see more interior stuff? If you guys have any interior ideas, let me know. Other than that, I think we're pretty much on the road of ending our interior design for this car and we will slowly be moving to the exterior while we wait for my other car to get wrapped. Now the fun part about today's ins or doing DIY stuff is that I'm gonna make this easy. Cabin air filter, I made you guys do it the hard way to make it easier. Today we're gonna possibly break stuff to do it the easier way. Instead of taking the whole door off, we're just gonna pry this right out, which you can start by doing. Take a trim popping tool, find the sweet spot, and we can kind of get going on this. So I'm gonna try something out here. Pull this piece out, cause then I should be able to pop. This sits in by these little clips. Anyways, continue forward. Literally the best way of me telling you guys how to do this is just do this. Instead of me sitting here playing with a couple things, you know, I try and sometimes I try and make stuff very user friendly, but sometimes I just gotta be honest. Anyways, uh, two plugs on the bottom. Now that we're done with this, let's go play. So if we take a look at the piece we're looking at, obviously you have one switch, one big switch. You can take a look at the back of them. There are three screws for this module and there are three screws for the window switch mod. And it literally just goes like this. And another one. Put that aside, and now you have ye old panel piece. We're gonna run this up just like last time when we did the steer wheel accents and stuff like that. We're just gonna be using our 2000 grit sandpaper. I would definitely suggest 1000 or 1500. 2000 is a little too light. Um, so what we need to do is, since this is actually an active high volume area for your fingers and stuff, grease builds up in here. So we're gonna take this time, we're gonna sand it down, scuff it, we're gonna scuff it, that's the most important piece, the little gunk areas so that the paint actually sticks. Because this is a high volume and your fingers are all over this, you want this to be the best finish with the paint can that you guys have ever done. You guys have girlfriends with long nails that like to tap their fingers on things? Don't do this. Boom, there we have a decent setup. Clean it up and we'll go paint. So for today's painting choice, we're gonna go with the classic vinyl and fabric spray by Duplicolor. Uh, glossy black, of course, to get the piano black that we want. Second coat, gentlemen, same thing. Wow guys, guess what? The third coat is the same idea. But this time, we're gonna go just a little thicker. So I got some bad news. Um, unfortunately, majority of these are turning out like shit. Dust marks in all of them. 
fish eyes paint cracking. I have no idea why it's paint cracking. These aren't gonna turn out as well as the steering wheel buttons did, but uh, I'm hoping the clear coat's gonna come in clutch. So I just put them outside in the sun so they could kind of bake and we want to scratch them when they go back in. With that being said, I'll see you guys when we put them back in. Well guys, we did have a bit of an unfortunate result on some of them. The driver's side, as you guys can see right at the top there, the paint was cracking. The back side again, like this whole thing is just the paint's just cracked all the way up. Uh, this one turned out good, except the fish eyes. So I was still gonna put them together and put them in the car, but I think this is one of those things where if I, if I find the OEM piano black trim, I'll just probably put it in. So with that being said, since we're done installing them back in, let's go take a look at them outside. All right, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for pretty much the final piece of the DIY painting project? Cause I, I this just finishes off the car, 100%. Look at this boy, there's only one little piece of sun. Here, I'm gonna go over to the sun, one sec. The car's in the way, baby. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that, dude. What do you guys think? Oh God, the train. Why is there a train? So what do you guys think about today's little DIY project? I think it looks great. Shh. Oh my God. You just beep at me, fam. I think it looks good. It's one of those things that blend well with this. Even that side looks good and all the other like over there and stuff like that. I'm really really happy with how this whole interior turned out like honestly. So off camera I'm gonna gloss this and the flaky stuff because this is like the only piece that's not. I'm gonna leave all this and I think I'm quite happy with how everything looks right now and then I'll do this off camera too but I think that's pretty good. Other than that guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to that subscribe button, leave a like on the video, and comment down below. Other than that, turn on the post notifications so you know when I upload next. Other than that guys, thank you so much for watching the whole interior DIY stuff. It's been fun. Keep it real. I'll see y'all in the next one.